Welcome back, Legendary Potato here to a brand new series. If you've never played Minecraft before and you want to get into Minecraft, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys some of the basics to getting started in your first ever survival world. So this series is going to be for new players, so people that have played this game before, this series isn't really targeted towards you, but for the people that are playing Minecraft for the first time and don't know what's going on, uh, this is going to explain a lot of things that are in the game in kind of, you know, a, a little tutorial walkthrough kind of style. So, hopefully you guys all will enjoy it, of course. But let's get right into it here, and let's go ahead and show you guys how you can create a world just like this one in survival mode. So when you're creating your first world, we're going to go to create new and create the new world. Uh, keep it on survival mode, that's the game mode we're going to be playing. And then what we're going to do, set the difficulty over to easy. Since this is going to be your first time playing, I would recommend that you do that. Then uh, if you would like to have a starting map, which will help you out, I'd recommend you turn this one on if this is your first playthrough. Um, and then you can kind of ignore some of these settings down to uh, around here. So what I'll just do, switch friendly fire off, show coordinates on, and other than that, leave everything else untouched and you should be good to go. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and create a world. I'm just going to quickly set my multiplayer to off. I want to play by myself here. If you want to just play a single player world, then you can go ahead and set that off as well. Uh, but now all of that is done, let's go ahead and create it here. Okay, so now that you've created the survival world, let's go ahead and actually start playing. So. You'll load up in some sort of place. Mine happens to be by a little bit of a lake, by some trees. And yeah, so as you can see, your world will look something like this. Maybe it'll be completely different. Um, but the idea is it's, it's going to be very similar in some sort of way here. So uh, there's, there's a pretty high chance your seed is going to be different, which is the world generation. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and follow the basic steps that you would do to start playing Minecraft. Um, so right here in my inventory is the map. Uh, which will basically make it so I can see the world around me from a top-down perspective. So if I go ahead and press uh, the LT or like the right click, depending on what version you're playing on for. Uh, of course, this is Minecraft Bedrock Edition, but this will apply to pretty much any version of Minecraft for the most part. Uh, but basically, um, here's the map here, so I can kind of see where I am, where I'm looking, and where I can go. And so this is an infinite world, uh, so I can basically go anywhere I'd like. But let's go ahead and put the map away for now. I don't really like it uh, for the time being, but I will use it later on. It will become a little bit more useful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch this tree here. Uh, you want to hold down the mining button, uh, which will be like the left click on the mouse, uh, or you'll just kind of hold down your uh, iPhone or uh, Android device, uh, or use the RT on your Xbox controller. Uh, but basically, you want to do this. And so if you break the wood, uh, like this, what will happen if you hold it down, it's going to break it here. We're going to get a piece of wood in our inventory. And so if we keep breaking this, we'll get tons of oak wood. And so this is going to be one of the first resources we gather. And so the reason why this is important, this is basically the first way uh, to start any survival world is by punching trees. And so wood is basically one of the most useful resources in the game uh, because you're pretty much always going to need it in some sort of way. It's used for so many different things, uh, which is why we need a lot of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch down a whole bunch of these trees uh, so that I'll have plenty of resources, but I don't want to spend all day punching trees. There are so many other things that I need to do as well uh, before it gets dark. So um, there's about 10 minutes of sunlight uh, before it gets dark, and that's when uh, enemies start spawning, at least if you're playing on easy or harder mode, uh, so easy, normal, or hard. There are going to be enemies that spawn and try to kill you, and so basically what you need to look out for uh, is those guys and make sure that you are protected and you'll be able to survive the night. So let's go ahead and get out of here. So now I've got about 12 pieces of oak wood, uh, which will be enough for now, of course. So let's go ahead and we'll get out of here just a little bit, and I'll show you guys exactly what we can do with this wood. So uh, yeah, I guess here's a little bit of empty space for now. What I'll go ahead and do is put uh, my wood in here. This is going to be my crafting interface. So it kind of depends on how your interface is set up. Uh, yours might look something like this, or it could look like this. So depending on those two things, what we can do uh, is you can either put it right into here, 
and this will basically show you what you can craft, what you can make here. Uh, but if you want to use this crafting, which will teach you a lot more about the game, um, then what we can do is we can put our oak wood inside of here, or any of these slots for that matter. And it will give us oak wood planks, and it will give us four of those. So if we put in 12, 12 times 4, it's going to give us 48 right here. So basically a 1 to 4 conversion rate so that we get a lot more wood out of this. Really helpful stuff there. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with all of these oak wood planks. There's a whole bunch of stuff that basically can be made from these, uh, which is why it's such a helpful resource here. And so one of the most important things you'll make in this game is going to be made out of four oak planks like this. It's going to be the crafting table, which is going to take your crafting, which we just did in a 2x2 two two grid, and it's going to allow us to make it in a 3x3 three three grid. So right there, as you can see, uh, now we have a lot more space to work with. So instead of having this 2x2 two two thing right here, we now have these uh, five extra spots to do uh, whatever it is we would like. Uh, but yeah, so that's that there. That's the crafting table. And so let's go ahead and show you guys, as you can see, there's so many different things we can craft. There's some that we need more items for. Uh, but let's go ahead and focus more on the other things we need. So actually, um, we'll go ahead and make ourselves some tools. So the basic tools you're going to want to make, uh, you're going to need some sticks for. So place your wood in a configuration like this. I'll put in two of these, so I'll get eight sticks out of this. And so that should be enough for enough tools. And so what I will do is I'll put them in like that. So now that we got that there, we'll place three along the top like that. That will make a pickaxe, which will be used to mine stone, rock sort of things like that. What we'll do here is we'll make an axe that will be to mine wood faster uh, than using the hand, what we used before. And then I'll use this here to make a shovel, which can mine things like dirt. And I'm going to take this stick out. I'm going to put in two pieces of wood there and make a sword. So now these are all basically uh, some basic things you're going to need. Uh, so I'll go ahead and put these in my hotbar, which are the things you can access uh, right away, of course. But these are going to be the back of my inventory, uh, so I can keep items back here, but I can't use them uh, immediately. So basically, here's the slots I have here. Here's my inventory. So pretty self-explanatory, I think. Uh, but yeah, there we go. So we got our stuff there, and I think that'll be good enough for now. So. Just to show you guys how much faster the, the uh, axe is than mining with my hand, that's about how long it takes to mine with my hand. Uh, but with a, a little axe here, just the basic wooden one, as you can see, looks like it's a lot faster there. So pretty helpful to make your tools early on so you can get stuff a lot faster. Uh, and so now we can go ahead and mine even more trees using this wooden axe here. So I'll go ahead and break this. Uh, and as you can see, it's just slightly faster. It's not crazy fast or anything. Uh, but as we get better resources, uh, we will be able to mine things faster, build things faster, and overall just, you know, get things done and accomplished. So I'll go ahead and break a few more trees. But we do have to focus on other things as well. I don't think we have much sunlight left. So what we also need is food. We need shelter and we need light. So basically we're going to eventually stumble across some animals. Look how convenient that was. There's some animals right there. How nice is that? Uh, but basically what we can do with these guys, if we take them out with our sword we just made, uh, we'll be able to get some sort of meat and sometimes even an extra item here. So this is actually very helpful is that we got some wool from the sheep here. So Every time you kill a sheep, you'll get a piece of wool, uh, which will come in handy later. So if you can find some sheep, I recommend you take out these guys. I'd recommend kill out uh, at least three of these guys here. So once you've done that, uh, you're basically all set, which is perfect, because you want to be able to have uh, enough for a bed, which will actually allow you to sleep through the night and skip all of that. So I'll explain that more as it becomes more relevant later on. Uh, but basically what we can do with that is it's going to help us out a lot in the long run there. So uh, now that we've got just a little bit of food, uh, we do have the wool here, which will be used uh, for the bed. But we also have some raw mutton, which we'll be able to cook to make it into cooked mutton, which will uh, help us heal up. Uh, you can eat it raw. Uh, that's not too much of a problem. Uh, but it will not help you out as much. Uh, instead, if you cook it, it will be a lot better. 
So yeah, it looks like it's starting to get about dark right now. So what I'm going to do is hopefully by the time uh, it's gotten dark for you, you've probably found some sort of wool. If you haven't found any wool, I'll show you guys how to make a shelter. Uh, but we're going to do one, two, three. We're going to place three oak wood planks or any sort of planks here. Uh, any wood is fine. Uh, and then we'll put in our three pieces of wool and uh, oh, it doesn't make a bed. So keep in mind, they all do have to be the same color. So I overlooked that there. So unfortunately, what that means is I need to find another white sheep uh, or I'm going to have to make a shelter for now, which I think I'm going to go ahead and make the shelter here. So let's find a place that's a little bit more open, which uh, is a little bit difficult because we're in the middle of a forest right now. So uh, what I can go ahead and do is I will just punch uh, this tree away right here. And I'm going to do this quickly uh, because mobs are going to be spawning uh, rather quickly here. So uh, what I'll do, get that right there. All right. So now that gives us plenty of wood to make whatever we need to make here. And so I'm kind of hoping I could find something a little bit more open. I could wait for those leaves to go away. Uh, but if I just want to, you know, do something really quick and simple, what I can just do is dig into the ground here with my shovel. And this will allow me to go into the ground here and kind of make a little base, uh, which will be safe kind of. So right in here. I'll just go ahead and set this up and we'll also be able to get stone. So this is the first time I've encountered stone. Uh, basically use your pickaxe to break the stone here and you'll get some cobblestone, which I'll show you guys what you can do with the cobblestone later on because it's also another helpful resource. And so I'll just kind of give myself some space and so that that'll give me enough room to do whatever I need to do for the time being. Uh, but we do need some light, in which we're not really going to be able to make any light right now. So unfortunately, we are going to have to be in a little bit of darkness. But that's not too much of a problem. What we'll do here is just kind of set this up. And so we can put down our crafting table right inside our base right there. And so what that allows us to do is craft our stuff inside of our house. And so what I can do here, I'll go ahead and refer to this crafting here so you guys can see things more visually. But right here, you can see there's a furnace. A furnace is a very helpful item, which is going to allow us to cook things. Uh, for example, cook the meat we have or cook some other uh, items I'll explain later on. So if I wanted to cook my mutton, uh, I could use any sort of burnable fuel. An example of this could be a wooden plank. So if I wanted to cook it right in there, I can do that. And it also provides a little bit of temporary light as well, which is really cool. So um, that's the thing there. So now we can go ahead and cook that. Uh, while we wait so as you can see cooked mutton and so right now I'm not hungry you can tell uh, how hungry you are by the uh, hunger bar uh, down at the bottom there you can see the thing that looks like a little meat thing on a bone that's how hungry you are and when those start to deplete that means when you need to start eating more food and if you don't eat then you'll be able to uh, or you'll start losing your health and you could possibly die or risk dying because you'll be uh, a little bit weaker but since we're on easy mode, it's uh, very easy to avoid all of that, uh, and it's much easier to, you know, stay alive at least. So um, I'm not too worried about it right now, and so you probably want to stay inside your house uh, overnight so that you don't have to worry about the mobs that are spawning. Uh, so I'll go ahead and stay in here for the time being. But when we take this cooked mutton out, as you can see, we have it right there. We now have those four mutton that we made, and they're cooked, and so it's going to provide a lot more um, uh, saturation and food for us so it's pretty good there uh, so I'll go ahead and put that away for now I don't need to eat that but let's say I want to put my items away let's say my inventory is getting full what I can do is make a chest and so what that will allow me to do is store items that I don't want to keep on me so let's say I want to put away some dirt a stick or the wood whatever I want to throw away like all of this let's say I want to keep that safe from my player so now, if I open the chest, as you can see, it will be inside the chest, but if I just open my inventory, it's not there anymore. And so the benefit to this is if I died and lost all of this stuff here, I would still have the stuff that's inside this chest right here, which is always kind of nice. So I can basically do that, keep my stuff in there in case anything goes wrong, uh, then I will be just fine. I'll put my wood in there too and just kind of keep my tools on me, whatever else you need. I do recommend you bring some sort of resources with you. Uh, but yeah, it seems like uh, I can't find any sort of sheep. I kind of want to find a sheep really quickly nearby uh, Just so I can go to sleep and demonstrate what a bed does, but 
of course, if you can't find uh, enough sheep like I did, uh, then you will have to wait out the night inside of your base. Or if you want to take a little bit of risk, you can walk outside and try and find some stuff as well. Uh, but you will run into mobs, which we saw just a few in the corner of my eye earlier. But basically the risk in that is you can risk dying, you can risk losing your stuff. And if it's your first time playing Minecraft, I would not recommend doing this. Um, there's a few mobs right down there. Uh, I'll kind of show them more as they come up, but I'm going to kind of leave them be for now. I'm not going to go ahead and bother them because they're not bothering me. So I think I'm going to go ahead and jump cut to when it's morning. Uh, since the night cycle lasts about 10 minutes and it's been about 5 of those minutes. So I'll see you guys back in a second uh, when it's morning. Okay, so now that it's morning again, let's go ahead and explore a little bit more. But now you survived your first night in Minecraft. So congratulations to you. Well done there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try and get some more food, get some more resources, and we can start day two, uh, which we'll probably do more in the next episode as well. Uh, so basically, you're going to want to continue getting some more of this wood. You're going to need a lot of it, uh, which I'll show you guys more in the next episode why exactly you're going to need more wood. But just go ahead, use your axe, and get more wood here. And if you got some cobblestone, let me show you guys something cool as well. So. I did get some cobblestone because I did make a base inside of here. Uh, I got about, how much cobblestone did I make? Uh, I got 12. I used about 8 of it on this furnace here, so that basically let me do that. And if you need more cobblestone, just break some of this stone right here, and you'll get plenty of that. But what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade our, uh, our wooden tools, and we're going to make some stone tools instead. So uh, these can kind of go for now. What I'm going to do here, make uh, some oak wood planks, or I'm going to use oak wood planks uh, and some sticks, and we'll get our cobblestone. So we're going to do the same thing we did before, but we're going to do it with cobblestone. What I'll do here is I'll make uh, some sticks right there. So now we got about nine sticks, which should be plenty, and I'll put in some right there like that. So what I'll do is I'll make my pickaxe, one, two, three. That'll give us the stone pickaxe right there. One, two, three. That will give me my stone axe. One right there. That gives me my shovel. And then I'm going to take away the sticks here. And I'm going to make myself a sword. So now these are all better than the wooden ones I made. Slightly more upgraded, which is very helpful. So now what that means is, is I can break things faster than before. And I can also have them last longer because they all have a durability bar. If you notice the little green thing below, that uh, shows how long it has until it breaks. And so basically, the more you use them, uh, the more they're going to break. But uh, the stronger your tools are, the stronger they are going to be and the longer they'll last. So that means you're probably going to want to use stone over wooden tools uh, just more times than not. So. What I'll go ahead and do is show you guys uh, if we use this now, as you can see, it is slightly faster, not always immediately obvious, but it is very helpful to get these upgrades in as soon as possible there. So as you can see, I can get plenty of wood. I can go ahead and chop down all of these trees. And so I'm going to go ahead and chop down a few more trees, and then I think I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, but in the next episode, I'll talk more basics uh, about gathering resources, and we're going to go underground. Since we've been on the surface of the world, I'm going to show you guys what you can do underground, the things you can get down there. Uh, but it is a little bit risky, a little bit dangerous, so you do have to be a little bit cautious if you're going down there. Uh, but I'm just going to get just a little bit more wood, and we should be good to go. Last thing I think I'll mention is this is a chicken. You can kill the chicken and you'll get uh, a piece of chicken and sometimes a feather as well. So more food you can eat, uh, but we don't want to eat the chicken raw, of course. So I'll just throw it right in there and we should be all set. But yep. So I think that'll be about it for today's episode. Hope you guys did enjoy today's episode, of course. If you did, make sure you do leave a like and let me know down in the comments section if this helped you guys out at all. Or if you have any sort of questions, make sure you do leave them down in the comments section. But with that said, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good one, guys, and peace out.